Hey, how's it going? Oh yeah. Hey, Augie. Hey. This is a horrible Where idea. Breakfast? Oh yeah, me and Augie are going to Cracker Barrel. Uh, I feel like a li so we were we were just having this discussion. A lot of people don't know what Cracker Barrel is. So should I bring this big old fluffy camera in there? Hell yeah. They're gonna be like, oh, what's this guy? What's the thing? He's hot stuff. I don't think that's what they'll think. But today's video, we're we're talking about these Jimmys right here. Look at that little fella. Okay. Where's my little baby mahi in the back? That's not what he is. He's some type of blenny, but we are getting all the corals, all the fish, uh, the rest of the filtration stuff, because I can reuse it from the other tank. We're going to get all that today. Hopefully, uh, no fish die. Hopefully, all the corals do well. I guess that's really it. Oh, and a starfish. I guess I got, I got, I got a little, little starfish one. And I guess whatever crabs that are still alive in that tank that the, uh, the old bird nose hasn't killed yet. <laughs> the wrasse likes eating inverts, which I don't like, but I like him. That's the problem. I thought it was a triggerfish the whole time. It wasn't, because like, I walk inside and he's just carrying it around the tank. I'm like, oh, okay. That was sick, but we got to get uh, the lights off that tank, the skimmer, and the heater, because this heater situation, that doesn't look that good. <laughs> There's a little problem. And it's too big to fit in the sump, so I'm going to have to steal the heater from the other tank, and it should be A-O. Okay, so I guess we're uh, off to Cracker Barrel. Is that what we're doing? Yes, sir. Yeah. Hello. We didn't, uh, I didn't film Cracker Barrel. We got a hash brown casserole, a little scrambled eggs and bacon. How was it, Augie? I want to go to sleep now. Uh, if anyone's curious why I look this, yeah, that's English. Uh, I was out a little late, woke up early, called Augie, woke him up. I was like, hey, you want to go scoop fish? He's like, not really. I was like, all right, cool. See you in five minutes. So then he came over and we're scooping fish. So here's my fish. This tank looks like poop. And uh, it's, it's a little dirty. This is like a week and this is what it turns into. All this algae, everything else. So I think the plan is to start draining it. I'm gonna probably drain it to about here in total. And then uh, I'm gonna slowly pull all the rocks, the corals out. Uh, all of them are still attached to rocks in some way, shape or form. Uh, actually, besides this one little shelf hard coral back there, it kind of fell off. But uh, I believe this is all one rock. I don't think any of these zoas have crossed over to this other rock yet, which I'm hoping they haven't because I'd like to keep them split. I also didn't know that my mushroom split. That's pretty cool. Hopefully they do that again because I want one big old mushroom. But yeah, I don't know what our plan is here really. I'm just gonna start draining, pull rocks out, scoop the fish last, uh, keep the corals uh, in water the best I can, and we should be good to go. So I guess we'll get to draining. I cut myself with a rock. I had to suck on it. Well, we got all of the living snails out, all the living crabs out, all the rocks, all the corals. Now we're down to these few little jimmies here. So uh, I got two nets here, one to kind of coax them into it and the other one to kind of actually scoop them with. Hey, you almost got two. That's all right, we'll do the old one at a time here. I already pulled out Mr. Starfish. He's already in there, if you guys can see him. That was the goby. Oh, no way. So Gubby's got, got, got clownfish here. Put them in this same bucket. There we go. A little fun fact, my coral beauty is actually my oldest fish. He's probably, oh Jesus, good golly, buddy's like Shamu, he just did the old jump. Uh, I've actually had him since I had this tank in Nebraska. There you go. I've had him probably, I'd say a year and a half. Actually, probably coming up almost on two years yeah. I've had him. So that's pretty crazy that some of these fish will last that long. And I think coral beauties live like 15 years or something like that. So way too big or way too long. There you go. We'll let you relax a second. Oh, 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 oh. He's going absolutely berserk right now. Are you okay? All right, brother. He's got to figure it out. He's smart a little easier. With him. There's the fox face. Get some out of the net, buddy. There you go. I'm trying not to stress him out the best I can to hurt him. All right, I got him. Into the bucket. See how big and puffed up he made himself? Yeah. That's, it's such a cool thing, but it's weird at the same time. I didn't think about not having a lid. Yeah. What if he jumps out mid-drive? Or mid-cruise down 95, airborne, <laughs> <laughs> airborne fish. What do we do about that? You got like a plant you can build up? You, you, you just 
Yeah, that's gonna catch him. That's that guy. Yeah, that's yeah. Well, that's 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 all right, so they're okay for like five minutes in there. I just have to pull out the skimmer. I already pulled out the heater and then take apart this light system here. I'll come back and clean, drain the rest of the tank, clean it all out tomorrow or the next day or whatever. It'll be fine just sitting here. So I gotta pull all that stuff out and then we'll get these fish plugged into their aerator, get the corals in the truck and we should be good to go. Okay, everything's loaded up. As you can see, we got two fish buckets over there. Only one of the aerator tubes is working. So we got to kind of, I switched it right before we are leaving now uh, to the other bucket because I didn't want only one to get oxygen, the other one didn't. And then if you guys can see in the back there, we got the two trash cans, one's full of RO, one's full of corals. So let's, uh, let's get these bad boys home, get the corals and the fish in to the new tank. Oh yeah, we made it back. Uh, we put the corals in. As you guys can see, I'll show you guys what I did. So I put this rock that's sideways here. It has a rock anemone on it right there, if you guys can see it. Uh, down here are the two mushrooms. Uh, over here is our little zoa colony that we got. There's a red color and then there's a green in there as well. I think there's a little bit of yellow, but they don't really pop through a whole lot. Uh, over here is like, I forget the name of this thing. It kind of looks like a frog spawn, but it's not. Uh, it's some type of like tree branching coral, I don't know. Uh, I do have two more hard corals that are in this bucket, but uh, I'm gonna put the fish in there first before I decide on where I want those. And then over here, we have our zinnias, and then down here, we got our green star. So hopefully, everyone will be good where they're starting to grow here. I tried putting them roughly where they need to be. Uh, I may probably have to move this guy because he may have too much light. If we gotta move him around, then, then we move him around, you know? Uh, but I did try and leave as much of this open as I could because obviously I want the fish to have room to swim and hide and make their holes. They're gonna do their thing anyway. I wanted, I wanna eventually get, um, they're, they almost look like a big brain kind of coral, but uh, they're super colorful. I'll pop one up on the screen here if I can think of it, but they normally generally they'll sit in sand beds. So I wanted to leave an open pocket to uh, get into those. I'm gonna have to wait till this tank's way more established before I get into something like that. But I like to look for the end goal here before I uh, get too crazy and end up uh, organizing something. And then I have to go back in there, refix it and all that. I want this to be the end all scape for right now until I get another hair in my tushy and I wanna, you know, go crazy again. But either way, the fish are all done acclimating. So I'm going to, uh, Augie, who should we start with? Probably get that trick out of there. Jesus, he's, he's, Murphy. He's, he's, all right, he's, he's, uh, I was gonna put them all in this container here, but the trigger fish, I don't think he's a uh, container ready. Well, I got like a three for one deal here. Okay, almost. Uh, all right, well, I got a coral beauty and one of the clownfish, so let's go ahead and get, oh my God, a coral beauty almost climbed the hole. All right, let's let them relax in the net here a second. There you go. There you guys go, look at that, wee! Go check out your new house. The clownfish is so confused. Yeah. The clownfish never left like the left side of the tank as it was. Now that he's gonna have no clue what to do. He's probably missing his girlfriend here. Oh man, you get this goby here. All right, Mr. Goby. We gotta get Mr. Goby here some more friends because I think he, uh, he might be lonely in here. He's gonna need a lot of help. I think we'll get like three or four more of them to uh, help ruffle up the sand along with the crabs and everything else that's in here. But. Let's get Mr. Triggerfish here. This <laughs> will really make a surrounding net. Oh, buddy put his barbell. I didn't want you to do that. Uh, are you serious, buddy? There you go. Okay, okay. Settle down, settle down. There you go, bud. You just relax. I have to put you in here. Go find your buddy. There you go. I'll put everybody in the same spot. All right, go find your buddy. Go straight down. All right. Here's my little sand sifter star that I got. We'll just drop pin. Oh, Brett. He'll have to flip himself over. <laughs> he should be able to, no promises. Now I gotta turn on my flashlight because I can't see. Oh, Mr. Box face, it's me first. Whoa, look at his colors. Look how stressed out he is and using a dark bucket. There you go, buddy. Hopefully they all color up here soon. Back to how, the oh look, the clownfish found his buddy. All right, where'd everybody else go? I think they're all high end, I can't see. Everybody just oh, ran. Don't, 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 don't. Oh, there you go, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. You're all right, you're all right. Some of them, some of them. No, 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 no. Like the, let it go. 
He was holding it with his mouth. All right. Crabs and our snails. Which... The fox is scared. Yeah, he's pissed. So, all right, well, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna get all of these snails, crabs, pulled out of the bucket, thrown in here, and uh, we'll let everything relax a little bit. I'm probably gonna get the lights set up and some of the other little stuff set up, and I'll review it all with you guys in, I don't know, whenever we're done. And voila! Augie did great. Augie was my wingman on putting the corals all together. But as you can see, everything's kind of coming out. The zinnias, everyone's coming out. These hard corals, obviously they're out. They're, that's coming. Uh, that guy's coming. You know, the shrooms, those guys. Everyone's coming, slowly but surely. But uh, our clownfish are out and about. They're not too sure about everything. They're up in the corner right now. Triggerfish, he's been good. He, uh, he hid for about two, three minutes and then instantly is back out again. So no one's worried about him. Same thing with Mr. Birdnose and, uh, wait, wait, what, where'd he go? Mr. Foxface, he's, he's, he just, oh, there he is. There we go, look at that guy. So everyone's doing good. If you guys do have any uh, tips for me here, I do need this. So these little starfish, oh, I can't, oh. You guys can kind of see it. There's fish that eat these. Because they're, I know they're not good for the tank. It, generally, they grow because of bad water quality. Obviously, this water quality is fine. I think they were on some of the rocks that the corals were on. So it just brought them into this tank, which they may die off because of the better water quality. But they also may stay just because they're able to live in here. I, I don't know. So if that's something you guys have an answer to, please comment that down below. But overall, everything looks pretty good. I hope this camera shows it well but the lights are on i need lids i couldn't use the bracket for the light because it wouldn't fit over this trim here it was too big uh and then this is my fire hazard that i have going on down here this is my auto top off here the sump's all kind of rigged up weird i got one pump that's scheduled or hooked into here it's running it's plugged in there it's a whole mess so hopefully once uh, i got new wave pumps coming in and i also have uh, well, I don't have new lights yet. I'm waiting to get new lights. I'm also waiting to get uh, a new skimmer. So I'm gonna get a skimmer, I'm gonna get lights, and then these new wave pumps should be coming in soon. And then once we have all of those pieces, we will fully wrap the bottom of the stand, close it all in, add some doors, and then set up the apex system that's over there. I have a whole plan of how I want it, and hopefully it all comes together well and uh, doesn't end up looking like this because this is a uh, this 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 ain't it. So yeah, that's all I got. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.